This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Pisces from April 23rd to May 7th, 2022. I'm going to pull and meditate on your first spread so that you can be part of the vision. Now let's get to it. What do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. You're stressed out about a love situation here. It's this energy where you see somebody, whoever this is, they could be a water sign. We see a lot of cups here, but it, it's like they're, they may be drifting away. There's this energy that you're stressed, the nine of swords, the seven of cups. You want to do something. You want to take some sort of action. It's like you don't know what to do or what to say to this person. Let's do a little vision here. Let's see what's going on. Bear with me. Sometimes it takes a little while for me to, to center myself. Hmm. I'm getting, it's like I'm, I'm getting a dorm room kind of vibe. It feels like it's kind of like a enclosure, like, like, a, like an older building is the best way I can put this. It feels very, like, uh, what's the word? It's, it's like somebody's in an old, very, like, stone building. You know what I mean? Like, like those old colleges. That's what it feels like. It's kind of like this dorm room sort of energy. It feels like the other person is far away. Like there's some historical rev relevance to to where you. My eyes are open now. Like I'm getting this this kind of tradition. It's a very ornate looking building, like very steep kind of tower sort of thing. This feels like a relationship, but at the same time, it, it's there's a lot of distance. Whoever's in the, this this education kind of whoever's in in the metaphorical kind of dorm scenario is the one that is is you. I feel you're the one that that's in the dorm, and they're the ones that are. It feels like there's so much distance. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Actually, no, let's clarify the Eight of Cups for that. What's this about? For them? Equilibrium. For you, fears in reverse. Fears in reverse. No, like all my cards are straight up. That one popped out in reverse. This is someone who isn't as scared of this situation as you are. It almost seems like from your perspective, you're jumping to the wrong conclusions towards the, this love interest. Like you feel that they're leaving, but they're not. There is distance, but from this person's perspective, they're not worried so much about this connection. 
Let's clarify this Eight of Cups some more. Like, the, it seems like they're very stable. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. What's giving you this perception that they're leaving? Seven, or Six of Swords. The Hierophant. And the Ace of Cups. They're not leaving at all. This is someone who loves you. They're coming towards you in a sense. It's this energy that, that they want this commitment, but they're understanding that you're starting something new with your life. College dorm. Like, I'm getting this sense that whatever you're starting, whatever this historical enclosure is, I can't really put my finger on it, but it feels like you're, you're beginning something. Like, when, when I think of, like, historical schools, I think of Harvard. I think of, you know, that kind of higher education. The... This person sees this as being good for both of you. They know what you're doing is out of love. You're missing this person. And you're under stress, perhaps because you're starting something new, something that that entails you moving forward in life. But it's, it's, there's distance here. To clarify this. Six of Swords. It's almost like they're coming towards you. For them, kindliness. For you, progress. It's, it's interesting because it's... Through their eyes, everything seems to be moving forward as it should. They don't feel like you're you're leaving them. They, they, they feel that, that it's, it's like you're going to bring them with you. They see you with love. They, they see you as, like, th this is something that, that's really understanding of you starting something new with your life. Whatever that is, whatever this metaphor is in terms of, some sort of traditional re relevance, something to do with achieving something, learning something. So it's a new environment for you. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords in your energy. What is this about? The star. Ooh, the Two of Pentacles. And the Empress. You, you've been rewarded for something that you've done in the past. It's, it's this energy that you, you've re received some sort of gold star. Like there, there, there is a claim here. That there, there's a wish fulfillment for you. But with the Two of Pentacles... I, I'm seeing you pulled towards this person, like whatever, whatever this is for you. This person is your star, like you, as, as good as things are for you, you can't really feel bad about what, where you're at because you are sitting on a throne here, but it, it's almost like this person is your reward. Like you're, you're having troubles. You're, you're wondering if you made the right decision with this two of pentacles here. Let's clarify this empress here for you. Because I see you looking back. For them, moderation. For you, ambition. Yeah, it's, it's this energy where you want this person with you. 
Star is soulmate energy. Like, as good as things are for you, I think that you're looking towards this person as your star, as your, your wish fulfillment. It's fascinating, though, because you are in a situation of being on a throne. Like, like there's this energy where it's like you're being served, you know, like, like people are, are, are doing your bidding. Interesting. What, what is, you know, what is some spiritual guidance for your situation? What's something that, that you need to know to make you feel better? Let's ask that. Two of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Cups. <sighs> it's, it's hard to really say anything to make you, to pull you out of this because You're not looking towards the future at all. And because you're not looking towards the future, it's like you're, you're going to be missing something that's right in front of you. Like there, there's this new epiphany that that's kind of, it's, it's, it's falling on your lap here, but, but you're so focused on the past. There's something really good for you to have like a new plan, a new idea that that's, that's supposed to be coming to you, but you're so focused on, on the past, on this person. Like you, there's this energy where you're glorifying the past. You know, like, so I'm, I just want to say like, sometimes situations arise, you know, and, and it's, it's like we're, we're seeking a beautiful option, but there's, there's none presented for us. So we automatically start becoming agitated, right? Like, like we can't grasp for something that, that is beautiful because it seems like you, you can't go back. You can't be with this person. You're starting something new here, but you're, you're so unsatisfied with that. And then you're becoming unsatisfied with this connection, thinking that this person is, is moving away when they're not. It's this energy where you're projecting. Like the best thing to do in those situations is it's, it's counteractive in a sense because you want to take action. You want to find some sort of beauty, something to, to inspire you, to move you forward. But sometimes it's better to sit still. And that might be the idea that that's coming to you. It's, it's like you, you need to just not do anything until the beauty finds you until that there is a beautiful action because right now with this stress, whatever action you do take may be the wrong action here. Like you're being torn in two different directions and it's, it's causing you a lot of stress. Let's clarify this four of cups. What is this? Because this is to do with your future here. For you, ostentation. For your future, notoriety. Yeah. It, it's like you, you don't want, whatever you signed up for, it's this energy that, that it's something new, but the way you're looking towards it, it's with kind of like, like this, hostility like you you and speculation it, it, it's it's like you don't you can't see the truth in something you don't want to see the beauty in something so it's it's you're causing scandal one way and the next and then the other way there's something coming to you though in the extended 
we're going to look into the random situation questions because this is a situation more than a love interest reading because th this person loves you. They're, they're not going away even if you think that they are. This is just to get your head right. So we're going to ask the situation questions. We'll ask, what's the significance for this situation coming into your life at this time? We'll ask, how can you bring healing to this situation? How will this situation affect your finances? And we'll ask, is this situation beautiful? Interesting. All right, the link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.